Welcome to the MTD CNC Technical Corner. Today we have a real treat. We're going to be reviewing a brand new product recently launched from Zeiss, the Metrotom One, a CT scanning machine. And I have the pleasure to be joined by David Shoot from Zeiss. Welcome back to the studio, David. Thank you for having me, Gio. It's a pleasure to be here. David, it's always a pleasure to have you here. And every single time that you seem to visit the studio, you seem to be launching a brand new product. Evolution never stops at Zeiss, it, David. It doesn't, it never <laughs> stops. David, tell our audience about the Metrotom One. The Metrotom One Geo is the, the latest addition within the Metrotom family. We currently have four systems within the Metrotom family. The Metrotom One is by no means an entry level system. We feel it adds a new dynamic to the rest of the portfolio. That new dynamic being simplicity in CT technology. Now, simplicity, let's start painting a picture for mm. our audience. What are the Metrotom One's capabilities and what technological advancements have been made? With regards to its capabilities, let's look at the types of materials and components it can deal with in the first instance. The system has a, um, a, a power rating of 160 kV, which is very, very, very good in a system of this size because it's very, very um, size sensitive, let's say. Um, that level of power owns itself to plastic components, light alloys, some titanium components, ceramics, multiple materials as well. So there's a broad breadth of, of different material types and, and, and component sizes that the system will accommodate, obviously within the measuring volume of the system. Now, I'm fully aware that CT scanners will check the internal features of a component. Yeah. Uh, for example, a casting where maybe they, they may be a blowhole and you don't want to add value to that casting mm -hmm. um, until you've checked it on the, mm -hmm. the CT scanner. Mm -hmm. um, but what other measurements can be achieved from the Metrotom One? Well, the Metrotom One or, or CT scanners of, of any type, they give you the ability to, first of all, scan the component. You then generate the, the data from said scan. Once you've got that data, you can look at the geometric features, not only the ones that you visually can see with your eyes, but some of the geometric features may be contained with inside the component. And under normal circumstances, historically, you may have had to put, cut the component in half and destroy it. You can look, as you've already alluded to, you can look at the internals, similar to this, this point here, and you can see any deformation or inclusions or voids within the, the casting or the molding in this instance. So as you've said, prior to it going any further through your process, then you have the ability to make an assessment as to whether it's a good quality part or a bad quality part. So it's checking the internal features for any defects, mm -hmm. but it's also measuring the part. To what accuracy will it measure that part to? Well, this particular system has an MPE value of five microns plus L divided by 100. And that's not to ISO currently, that's to VDE VDI 2630. So again, small footprint, a lot of power, very accurate, perfect for the market. Very small footprint, but what about the measuring volume internally? The measuring volume internally is 165 millimeters in height and 140 millimeters in diameter. So providing your, you can, but you can also have multiple parts in there. So providing your, either your individual part or your multiple parts sit within that measuring volume, you can scan the data, acquire the volume and, and do the relevant calculations and evaluations afterwards. So what you're saying there, David, let me just correct me if I'm wrong. You can present as many components as you possibly can within that measuring volume and you don't need any fixturing or jigs as long as you get them in there. Yes, but at the same time, if they are dense components, if you think about as the part rotates, if you've got two dense components together, then that's additional material for the electrons to pass through. So there is a few other things you have to take into account. But the Metroton 1, again, coming back to the simplicity bit, has the ability and it does automatically a scan for the operator and it creates and selects the optimum values to get the best possible scan out of the system. It's done automatically for you. Very impressive, uh, David. Now, let's take a look at some of the components that specifically lend themselves to our industry. For example, the one in the middle, you know, I've made very similar components like this mm -hmm. myself. Can you give our audience a little bit of a flavour of the applications it lends itself to? No problem, Gio. As you can see here, we have a plastic part, we have an aluminium part, and we have a multiple material part. 
with the power that comes from the uh, the Metroton one, we could quite possibly have a titanium part in there and a ceramic part as well, depending on size, because density comes into the mixers at, at the same time. These all come from different industries. This one's of particular interest because it's, with it being an electrical connector, it will have multiple materials contained within it. And again, going back to the, the physics behind the CT principle, you will have to apply additional power to penetrate the, the metal components on the inside, which could be at the detriment to the evaluation on the plastic parts. But again, as I said, the Metroton 1 system can do a calculation in order to get the optimum results from the system, even when it's a multimum material part. So in regards to applications, the system is very, very flexible and, and, and ultimately dependent on some materials, you could present pretty much any components that you want. It's a very flexible system. Very flexible and very, very easy to use. Well, what about the programming then? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you program it? And tell us about the software. The software that comes with the system is GOM Volume Inspect. What you can see here are some of the different processes that are available as standard with the Metroton 1 in the GOM Volume Inspect software. The calibration option that you see there, that's of particular importance because the software gives the operator, the user, the customer, the ability to calibrate their system as often as they want. Systems move regardless whether they're CMMs or their CT systems and so on and so forth. And under normal circumstances on an annual basis, that system would be calibrated by a service engineer coming in and running length bars and so on. With the artifact that we supply with the system, which is calibrated to DAX, which is the accreditation at the highest level from Germany. The operator can run a routine and the system automatically recalibrates itself, all contained within the same platform. At the same time, it has, obviously it has the capability to measure. Once you've done the measurement, you can then visualize the volume. That's the information that's created after the scan. Once you've visualized the volume, you can look at the geometric features here. These are the inclusions you talk, we talked about earlier on, so you can see where the voids are and so on. Everything's color coded, so you can see the size of the void. If it's green, it's good. If it's red, it's bad, and so on and so forth. And then at the end, you have full reporting capability as well, which can be supplied either in paper form or digitally and sent wherever you need it to go. All contained within the package coming with the Metroton 1. David extremely impressive and, and, and the programming of this mm -hmm. does is, is this in, involved within this software it is yes all of the programming is done through three-dimensional CAD so it's extremely easy to use and, and very very user-friendly another key feature for the software is that GOM supply a version of the software with 95 percent percent worth of the the standard capability and functionality completely free of charge so as and when and if you you do a, a customer would do a scan for a, for a, another customer they can download the software free of charge all of the relevant information can be sent to that customer and they can visualize the part and do whatever they want to do with it for free david very impressive um, i'd love to learn a lot more about the metrotom one just going back to the accuracy how does the metrotom one acquire them levels of accuracy well, first of all, it's a Zeiss product, so it always comes with, a, with a, an excellent degree of accuracy. Taking into account the operator's ability to calibrate the system at any time, so you can redefine the, the system. The most important factor here is that the system, as a standard function, has active thermal temperature compensation inside it, so it keeps the inside of the system at a constant temperature regardless of temperature outside the machine. So the system's continuously monitoring the temperature outside of the machine and making the relevant corrections inside so all of the internal workings stay stable, enabling the types of uh, tolerances that we've, uh, we've spoken about today. Certainly a lot of technological advancements and yet another fantastic technical corner and one of the most technical corners again that I've had the pleasure to be part of. David, thank you very much. So, you. so there you have it, the new Metroton 1 from Zeiss. If you want to learn more, contact Zeiss directly. Thanks, David. Thank you.